Good morning and welcome back to a very new trading week. My name is Shaquan Lopez and I am here to uh, just bring you guys another trading uh, analysis that could pan out for this week. So the pair that we're going to be talking about is going to be pound JPY. Okay, and this is going to be a long term trade. It's going to be a short term swing trade. So if you don't know what swing trade means, it just means you're going to hold your trade for probably 24 hours and more. Now I'm saying short term because this trade could give profit between 24 to 72 hours. And one of the reasons why I know that is because we are on the four hour time frame looking at this. And also price doesn't have a lot to pull back. It's gonna be a very quick pullback as you guys can see. So last week on the 15th, price made a new higher high at 165.458. Uh, this just means that price is in an uptrend because price passed 164.872. Now, the last higher low is down here at 164.031. So what does this mean for you, for me, for anyone who trades this particular currency pair? This would mean that we want to be the buyer, okay? Now, one of the reasons why you want to be the buyer is because, like I just said, price made a new higher high. And so you have to trade what you speak. And this is one of the things that I teach people how to do. Once you articulate the direction that just came out of your mouth, you want to trade in that direction. You don't want to trade against the higher low and the higher high. That will make you a counter trend trader, but also that doesn't mean that price will always pan out to that direction. You want to trade in the direction where price is going. That will make you a trend trader, okay? So I just talked about two different types of trading styles. One is swing trading. You're holding your trades for more than 24 hours. That is good for people who can't make it to their charts all the time, who don't want to day trade, who don't want to deal with the headaches of lower time frames. And then you're trend trading. You're trading with the trend versus against the trend. You're trading with the majority of buyers in an uptrend, um, or a majority of sellers in a downtrend. And so you're becoming a trend trader, one type of trader in different categories, okay? And this is very important because this is called niching down. But let's go into the analysis part of like a take profit and a stop loss for a quick second. So when price is in an uptrend, you really want price to stay above the last higher low. And if it can prove to do that, which means if price can pull back to where you want to enter the trade, that is where you're going to enter. Now, I already have my zone out. I call this my estimation zone. Uh, this is personal to my brand. I've created this term uh, for where I want price to go. And I want price to go to my estimation zone because this is where I'm estimating that price will get to um, before um, I, I, I enter the trade. I'm not trying to enter at the higher high. I want to enter at the higher low here, okay? And so what I'm waiting to see is if price can pull back a little bit lower today and I already have my buying limits, which means I'm not going to execute this trade myself. I'm going to let the um, trading view execute this trade for me. I am using a live account and my FTM rule account to do this as well. And so if price can pull back to my estimation zone and trigger me into the trade today or tomorrow, I say profits are going to be back to the higher high in my negative 27 here um, using my Fibonacci. Now, you guys may notice that I do not have any levels in between here. I will be doing a video on how to use a Fibonacci levels, how to use Fibonacci extensions comes sometime soon uh, so you guys can understand Fibonacci. And then the reason why I don't have Fibonacci levels, I'll be explaining that as well too. So I'll probably make this into a series, okay? But for now, this is a really good, decent trade that we could be able to take. Now, let's talk about how you can enter into this trade. Number one, I just told you guys I'm setting a pending order, um, which means I'm going to set my buy limit to where I want to enter the trade at the top of the zone. My personal stop loss is just going to go back to the previous low here. Your stop loss may be different. Your stop loss could be longer. It could be shorter. That is personal to you. Uh, my risk to reward on the first trade is 1.9. On the second position is 2.68. So you can enter this on the four hour time frame um, if you have the time to or the one hour time frame. I say any of those time frames could work. For me, if I were to enter manually, I would enter on the four hour time frame. I would wait for price to touch this zone uh, and then create a leading candle for me to enter the trade and then I'm in. Now, 
Let's talk about the ways in which this may not give you a setup, okay? Because all the rules have to be met. For one, we know price is in the uptrend, but it hasn't touched your zone. So you don't have a trade right now on this pair uh, based on how my rules are. I don't have a trade on this pair. Maybe you see it, maybe you don't. It's up to you, okay? But if price does not reach my zone, I won't trade it. I don't have a trade. I won't touch it. That's first and foremost. The second way in which this trade can be invalidated um, is if price goes past this previous low in which I'll already be in the trade, but it's the only way in which I can get stopped out. I can only get stopped out if price passes this higher low here at 164, and this will mean that we will be in a short-term reversal, okay? So with that being said, I'm only looking for buys on this pair, and then if price doesn't trigger me into the trade or it stops me out, then I'll adjust how I see the chart and update it. But until then, this is the original bias, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this setup. And then make sure you guys are following me on YouTube to, uh, you know, see what videos I have coming out this week. They're going to be really good based on the Fibonacci, okay? So if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment on the video, and I will talk to you guys later. Be safe, you guys.